Hi guys, welcome to this video which is going to be looking at how you can calculate the concentration in grams per decimeter cubed. So the first thing we need to talk about then is what is concentration. And to do that, I want you to think about two liquids. Now, you can see here that I've put in some acid particles and both liquids have the same volume. On the left one, there is a low concentration because there are only a few of those acid particles in my solution. Whereas on the right, there are lots more, so we say that has a high concentration. So a nice way to summarise it then is concentration is how crowded a liquid is. And a good example of this is if you add more of a solute, so for example sugar into a solution, so the more sugar you put in, the more crowded that solution becomes, less sugar can go in there, and therefore the higher the concentration. So when we talk about grams per decimeter cube then, the grams is the mass of the solute that we have dissolved. So for example, the mass of sugar that's dissolved in water. And then the decimeters cubed is the volume of our liquid. So the volume of water that we dissolved that sugar in. However, what you guys are used to using is centimeters cubed. What we need to be doing is using decimeters cubed. So the question is, how can we convert, for example, 50 centimeters cubed into decimeters cubed, which is what's needed for our concentration? To convert from centimeters cubed into decimeters cubed, then, it's nice and simple. All you need to do is take whatever volume you have in centimeters cubed and divide it by a thousand. So, for example, if you have 50 centimeters cubed and you divide it by a thousand, you will get 0.05 decimeters cubed. So the calculation you guys need to be able to use then is concentration equals mass in grams divided by volume in decimeters cubed, which gives you a concentration in grams per decimeters cubed. You also need to be familiar with rearranging the equation. So you need to be able to tell me that volume is mass divided by concentration and mass is concentration times by volume. Right, now you know what concentration is, let's have a look at a worked example. So this one says 17 grams of sodium hydroxide is dissolved in 3 decimeters cubed of water, calculate the concentration. So you should be familiar now that concentration equals mass divided by volume. My mass is 17 grams and my volume, which is already in decimeters cubed, is 3. So it's 17 divided by 3, which gives me an answer of 5.7 grams per decimeter cubed. Now, if this was worth two marks in the exam, you'd get one mark for 17 divided by 3 and one mark for your correct answer. Let's move on to the next question then. This one says 2,500 centimetres cubed of hydrochloric acid had a concentration of 0.2 grams per decimeter cubed. What is the mass of solute dissolved? So if you remember back, mass is our concentration times by our volume. So our concentration is 0.2 grams per decimeter cubed and our volume is 2,500 centimetres cubed. Now we've got to convert that into decimetres cubed. So if you remember how we did that, you divide by 1,000. So 2,500 divided by 1,000 gives me 2.5. So 0 0.2 times by 2.5 will give me my mass in grams, which comes to 0 0.5 grams. And again, if this was worth three marks, you get one mark for the multiplication of 0 0.2 times by your volume. If you then divided the volume by 1,000 to get it into decimeters cubed, that would get you your second mark. And then your third mark would be for getting the correct answer of 0.5 grams. Right, let's have a look at four questions then. So the first one should be fairly straightforward for you, which says convert 500 centimeters cubed into decimeters cubed, which is worth one mark. Question two says calculate the concentration in grams per decimeter cubed when 5 grams of sodium chloride dissolves into 500 centimeters cubed of water. Remembering, to get into decimeter cubed, you need to divide that volume by something. Should be the same answer as you got for part one when you get work out your liquid there. Question three, calculate the volume of water needed when two grams of copper sulfate forms a concentration of five grams per decimeter cubed. So think back to how you rearranged that, how we worked out the volume. And then question four, calculate the mass of sugar needed to make a concentration of two grams per decimeter cubed from 50 centimeters cubed of water. Remembering, you've got to convert that into decimeters cubed again. Pause the video, we'll see how you've done in a minute. Right, let's go through then. So if we start off with question one, it says convert five 
100 centimeters cubed into decimeters cubed. That's nice and simple. You divide by 1,000 to give you 0.5 decimeters cubed. Always put it into a calculator just to be on the safe side. Question two, calculate the concentration in grams per decimeter cubed when five grams of sodium chloride dissolves in 500 centimeters cubed of water. So the first thing to do is to make sure you know the equation which is mass divided by volume. You can work that out from the units. Grams divided by decimeter cubed, that is mass divided by volume. The next thing, put in the values you know. So you've got five grams in your mass, and then your 500 centimeters cubed converted into decimeters cubed is 0.5. So you get one mark for saying five divided by 0.5. Then your answer comes out to 10 grams per decimeter cubed. On to question three, calculate the volume of water needed when two grams of copper forms a concentration of five grams per decimeter cubed. So again, first of all, figure out your equation. And this is volume is mass divided by concentration. Remember that triangle I showed you, mass was at the top, concentration, volume. So if you want volume, it's mass divided by concentration. The next thing is to put your value, values in. So that's two divided by five which gives you 0.4 decimeters cubed. Always remember to get your units in as well. And then finally, question four, calculate the mass of sugar needed to make a concentration of two grams per decimeter cubed from 50 centimeters cubed of water. So in order to do this, again, get your equation. Mass is concentration times by volume. Concentration is two grams per decimeter cubed. And then the volume is 50 centimeters cubed. We've got to convert that. So 50 divided by 1,000. So you get one mark for putting that in, one mark for correctly working out 50 divided by 1,000. So it's 2 times by 0 0.05, and that gives you your answer of 0 0.1 grams. That about sums up this video. So let's move on to the review question. And that is a 230,000 centimeters cubed solution of barium chloride contains 1,000 grams of barium chloride crystals. Calculate the volume of the solution in decimeters cubed for one mark. Calculate the concentration of the solution in grams per decimeter cubed for two marks. And then the concentration should have been five grams per decimeter cubed using the same volume. So 230,000 centimeters cubed. What mass of barium chloride crystals should have been used to produce five grams per decimeter cubed? And that ends this video. Hi guys, hopefully you've enjoyed the video. If you have, click the subscribe button down below and visit the website mrbarnstc.com for more.